High Rise Mogul is basically Project High Rise, but in 3D, which is fantastic because it gives me a whole nother dimension to detail a skyscraper in, which is always a plus. It is objective fact that three dimensions are better than two. It's also objective fact that seven, eight, nine. So with that in mind, let's check out High Rise Mogul, which is a game that was recommended to me on Steam by Steam itself. It's not one of those games. I didn't see a comment about this. This isn't a game that I've actually heard of before Steam just sort of threw it at me. But it looks like the kind of thing that I would enjoy. And I've put maybe 30 minutes into this just to get used to the controls, mechanics, and just to try and figure things out. And I've still yet to do that exactly. So that's kind of what this video is going to be. And if at the end of this video, you want to see more of this, do leave a comment below letting me know that you would like to see a bit more high rise mogul on the channel, because I think if it goes well, it could be for a little while. It won't be a long series. I don't think I say that we might be in part 100 by you know this time next decade. Uh, regardless, if you enjoy it, let me know. We might do more of this. Let's go ahead and start a new game, though. We're going to be starting with $250,000. We are not going to be changing anything down here. We're going to keep the default wall color. We're not going to be unlocking everything. We're just going to start. And I'm going to walk you through the tutorial because I figure I'm relatively new to this. So it will remind me of how some things work. And if you are new to this, then it sort of introduces you to the mechanics of High Rise Mogul. So... In High Rise Mogul, your task is to design, build, and manage your very own High Rise. You can move around with WASD, you can rotate with Q and E, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, and you can zoom in pretty far. And there's a good little bit of detail in this game, not, you know, not texture-wise, but I mean in terms of the models and things like that. Uh, time and the time controls are in the top left. You can go one, two, and five times normal speed. I do want to mention there are no keybinds to speed up time. You can pause with space, but you absolutely cannot increase or decrease the flow of time with a key bind. I would like to see that. I've played many a management game in my time and they all have different buttons for it and it's fine. I deal with it, but I would like it to be a key bind. That's all I'm saying. Now, there are build menus because of course there are. They are divided into five categories, that being floors and walls, rooms, outdoors, power grid, and details. To access each category, you can use the five buttons in the bottom left, and then you can expand the category with the bar at the bottom. So we're in the floors and walls section, which is going to allow us to place floors and ground tiles by choosing a type of floor or ground tile and then dragging an area with the mouse. I can demolish it with the demolish tool. And floors are used to generate indoor spaces and other ground tiles, such as pavement and ground, are for outdoor spaces. When placing indoor floor tiles, walls will be automatically generated for me, and I can change wall and window appearance uh, with the swap walls tool, which is said it's swap windows in here, but it's swap walls down here, and that's fine. I can select the floor with the floors button in the bottom right from 0 to 25, and that's kind of fantastic. I think we're more or less at the point where we can do a little bit of building. Although I think, yep, we got to go through the top bar tutorial as well. Now the top bar, and I'll try and be quick with this because there are going to be other pop-ups that explain things as we get to them. The top bar has information like my current balance of $250,000, the number of people in the high rise, which is currently zero, and the amount of PR and R&D points that I have. I can click on each of those to open a detailed menu, but we'll get to that shortly because I want to start building a damn high rise. That's kind of the point. We also have a pause menu in the top right. So let's go ahead and build a bit of a high rise. And I'm going to start right here, two back from the road. And I'm going to go and say, let's do 14 by 14. That seems pretty solid. And then what I want to do around that is some concrete there and some concrete right there. We're gonna do a little section there as well and here. And we'll fill those spaces at the edges with some grass just to look a little bit fancy. Just to look a little a little nicer than it otherwise would, right? Gives us a little bit of a buffer from the road as well. 
which is absolutely lovely. And that's about all the exterior detailing I'm going to be doing for now. Well, actually, no, I tell a lie. I'm going to do some windows. I want uh, I want these windows right here along the uh, the face of the building, at least downstairs. Uh, as we get a bit higher, I might change that up a little bit because I don't think these windows would look quite as good further up. But I'm thinking that these are windows looking out of offices and shops at the ground level. So you would kind of want some natural light coming in, maybe. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. But uh, those are the windows that we're going for, and that's fine. Now, let's have a look at rooms. Rooms can be placed in indoor spaces. Choose a room and place it with the mouse. You can rotate it with tab. The room will be green when placement is possible and red when it's not. And all rooms have to be connected to hallways, which are used to provide access to rooms in indoor spaces. Each room has to be connected to a hallway. In order for a person to reach a room, it has to be reachable by a combination of hallways, doors, and outdoor spaces. So essentially, this is going to be a case of managing hallways and rooms. It's it's a weird game of Tetris, is, is what this is. We'll start with a nice 4x4 four four right there. And I want to go this way, and I want to go this way. And that's fine. That's a decent little start. Elevators are going to be self-explanatory. You get up and down the building. And I'm going to place one right there, and that's going to be a pretty good spot. Because my thinking is that we're essentially going to mirror this this way. So we'll have another 14 by 14 kind of... Well, actually, we might have another 14 by 14 sort of in this corner, and then we'll match them in the middle. So it'll be elevators in sort of the four corners of the tower, and maybe a core of elevators as well. But that's, that's fine for now. Now, on top of this, I do want to have a look at all of the things we can put in here. I did mention that it is a bit like uh, Project High Rise. So you are essentially going to be wanting to make sure that your office workers, for example, have a they have toilets they can get to, uh, that they have cafes that they can get to. You want your residents in their apartments to be able to go to the gym or an antique boutique or a bowling alley. You want to make people happy. And you'll also see that the bowling alley uh, rent per month is 3450 Now, it is 17500 up front, but it will make people happy. It is $500 in maintenance per month. It does have a considerable power uh, requirement, but it would give us 20 uh, PR points, which means more people coming in. And if we actually have a look at PR, this is probably a good time to do it. Uh, PR measures your reputation with the public to gain more start a campaign or build any of the rooms and items that will increase your PR points. It can also be gained from goals. PR points will determine the number of visitors to your high rise, that being non-tenants and non-staff. It's also probably a good idea to look at goals, which are plain and simple. Just, you know, get a bunch of people or I don't know, R&D, you know, research 20 things. It doesn't really matter what it is, but we can do a bunch of things to get a bunch of things which is which is the idea in the long run we'll also look at research and development which is used to unlock new rooms and items you get r d points via the r d closet which we can go ahead and research right there it's going to take 30 seconds and we can place that in here in uh no time at all as well but before we get to that let's go ahead and have a look at power because power is well what makes the world go round in this case or what makes the high rise go higher the power grid is used to provide power for the rooms in your high rise each room requires power to be functional in the grid view all of the power items are displayed with a yellow tint the most important aspect of the power grid is capacity each room requires enough capacity to cover its power consumption you can connect rooms and power grid items with power lines it can also be bought from the public grid or generated locally with power generators. For more information on each category of item, click through the tabs. So capacity represents the maximum power draw that your grid can handle. Each room has a draw value and in order, in order for them to function, your grid has to have the capacity of all of them combined. So essentially, if one room needs a megawatt of power, you need to be able to handle that. So say I have three rooms uh, with 
you know, each taking one megawatt of power and my maximum capacity is five, I could build two more rooms before we're going to be out of power. So if I needed more capacity, I build more, in this case, circuit breakers, which give us uh, five megawatts of power, 5,000 kilowatts. Generators are essentially going to generate up to a certain amount of power. So solar panels is going to be 1,000 kilowatts. A propane generator is 1,500. I'm not going to bother with these. I'm just going to buy power from the grid, which will happen automatically as soon as we build a circuit breaker. So in terms of the circuit breaker, I guess what we do is we'll get that in just a second once I get the R&D closet, because this thing's actually a weird shape. So what I can do with this is put it right there, and then next to it, I'm just going to place a circuit breaker cabinet there. And in terms of power lines, what I want to do is drag these guys out, so down to there, and we'll drag them sort of this way as well, and down to there. And that'll give us power in any rooms sort of along that uh, that corridor. And we'll drag out power lines to the rest of the rooms shortly. Speaking of rooms, though, I want to actually build them. I feel like I've just done nothing but ramble and read text off the screen. So let's let's build some stuff, which is kind of the point. Uh, actually, before we do that, <laughs> there is one more thing I want to do, which is the uh, the power pole right here. So this guy is essentially what's going to let us carry power up and down the building which is going to be relatively important. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is I'm going to get another little section of hallway. Just a little bit, though. Just right, if it's going to let me do it, that is, uh, right there. Just a tiny little section of hallway. Because what I can do is put the power pole, say, there. And then next to this, I can go to utility and I can do some toilets. And having some toilets in here, it's going to be good. It's going to keep everybody nice and happy and it's sticking to sort of my, my grid that I have going on. So that's that's totally fine as well. Uh, now, we are going to need some power for the toilets. So we'll just go ahead and run a line there and a line right there. And that means that they are going to be functional as well. So now we're going to build some proper rooms. And I'm going to start with a cafe. And the cafe is going to be right here, and it's going to face out into the lobby, which is totally fine by me. That's probably the best place for it. Uh, we have an antique boutique as well, which is, what's the cafe? 6,000 up front, rent per month, 2,000. Antiques is 3,500, 1,000 per month. That's fine. Antique boutique can go there as well. So we kind of have the main lobby with like two sort of stores off of it. And then what we'll do is we'll go and get some basic offices. So we can go one, uh, we can go two and three right there. We can rotate these guys. We can go one, two, oh, going to be a weird bit of sizing here. What size are you? Oh, man. Okay, so small storage rooms, 1,600, but rent per month is 1,200. That's pretty good. But the PR is minus one. So that's a bit rough. Uh, what I think we'll do is i guess huh it's a bit of a tricky situation we're in here i might want to do more toilets maybe that's what we do although that's not really going to work is it i'm not really sure we could look and see if we have anything that's maybe a little three by two the antique boutique is but we already have one of those uh doors elevators hallways we could do more i mean we could do this we could do a little apartment. I really don't want to do an apartment right there, though. I really don't want to do an apartment right in the ground floor. So maybe just... I don't know. Maybe just an office. Maybe that's what we go for. Just an office right there, and the weird gap is just going to have to exist. Unless... I mean, that's not the middle of the building, is it? No, it's one off. We could make that a door. I guess. It, it wouldn't... It'd be weird, but it's it's probably it's probably about all we can really do with it. So we'll make that a door and we'll just live with it. And then in terms of power, we'll just go ahead and cross the hole. We'll come down like this. We'll go around like this and straight across there. And now all of those uh, rooms have power, which we're buying from the grid. And they should, in theory, all be functional. But the thing is, no one can get to the building right now because what we need 
are some outdoor things. So outdoor items are mostly cosmetic with the exception of transport, which is required for people to get access to the high rise. So right now we only have a taxi drop off and that's fine. Uh, what we'll do is place two of them right there. And uh, that should keep us pretty good. It's going to let people get in, going to let them go to the cafe. We have Lily Richardson, who I assume owns the cafe. And we got some people coming in over here who I assume work in the offices, which is good. Now, what I'm going to do is hire some staff. We need a janitor to keep the place nice and clean. We're going to need a firefighter and we're going to need an engineer. All very expensive, but absolutely essential to stop the place from, well, burning down. So let's get some rooms for my staff as well. We're going to need a staff lounge, which can go... Well, I guess it could go back here if I did another corridor, which is slightly tempting. It's actually very tempting because I could do a bunch of uh, R&D closets as well, which would get me more research and therefore, well, it would just be good, essentially. That's that's about it. It would just be really good to, uh, to have more research going. So that's tempting, but I'm not going to do it just yet. Uh, in terms of... Oh, I think I know what I'm going to have to do here. Hold on. Hallways, hallway. Let's go down this way and let's come down here. So we have this sort of square going on. And then this bit is likely going to be more toilets. Bit of a weird spot for them, but that's okay. And then what we can do is go to utilities. Uh, the staff lounge can go there. And what else have we got? So a gym. Where can we get a gym? We can get it there. Which is not a bad spot for a gym, honestly. I don't know if it's really going to attract people. It is 7,500, 500 per month. Rent per month is 1,800, but requires 12 people. So I don't think a gym is necessarily the best thing. I think we need more PR before we do that. But I will get an R&D closet because what I can do with this is a cheeky little hallway right here. And then I can throw it right there. And then the gym would take up that space. So that's pretty good. That will give us a little bit more in the way of uh, research per month, which is going to let us just uh, do more things, essentially. So that's lovely. We got that going for us. And we have space for a gym and more offices, which is kind of exactly what we're looking for. So let's have a little look. Basic offices, 1000 with 400 in rent per month. I'm kind of OK with that. So we could do it. The storage room is 600 more than the office, but it's 800 more in rent. Very tempting, but it is minus one PR. It's also quite cheap per month. So what if we did... What if we spent a thousand on a month-long radio advertising campaign for plus 10 PR, which gets us up to 15, and then if I build a few of these guys... We can, I guess, I don't know. I don't know exactly what way I want to build these though. So if I build one there and I build another one, say there, and I go basic office there and say there, that is assuming that we, oh, we might be out of capacity on the thing right here. So 5,000 capacity. Let's look at our stats. No, total consumption is there. So we just haven't built the lines around, I guess. Which is true. We absolutely haven't. So connect you and connect you right there. Okay. So we have all that going. Our PR is 13. And that's okay. I'm actually actually okay with that. That's, that's not too bad. Uh, we should have some decent money coming in. And then we do have this space over here, which we can do something with. I'm not really sure what to do with this space, if I'm completely honest. I think for now, let's do another storage room just because it's decent money and we'll do another little basic office there just to fill up the space and keep the money coming in. So we can connect those around and that gives us this little loop. It gives us room for the gym if and when we happen to want that. And this is, I think, a decent little start. I think it's okay. I think it's, uh, it kind of works. And I guess we could also look into decoration. So like a fountain would have to go outside. 
Uh, but details are items that can be placed either outdoors or in hallways. So something like a newspaper stand is going to have a 15% chance of plus one cash. Uh, something like a utility is prevents littering on the tile the trash can is placed on. That doesn't seem like it has that much effect. That seems like a pretty... That seems pretty useless, I'm not going to lie. Uh, an ATM, 20% chance of plus one cash and 10% of plus 0 0.1 happiness. Okay. What about an ATM right there? And then a USB charging station is plus five. Uh, it's a 5% chance of plus 0 0.3 happiness. Okay. I like the sound of that. Um, let's put a USB charging station right there. And maybe back here. And I think that's fine. I think that's that's a decent little thing. We have no lights right now. We do have this plant. 10% chance of 0 0.1 happiness increase. We'll go for there. And we have this space here, which I guess... I guess that's just going to be a corridor that goes across the entire building at some point. But that seems fine. That seems like a decent little start. So let's speed things up. And uh, let's just see if we end up making some money. Looking at the overall thing, we've spent 25000 in the last month. It is minus 2,572 on room maintenance. We have decent money on uh, office income and service income, which is good news. I don't know. I mean, staff salaries are 9,000 right now. So I guess we're going to have to just sort of chill and see what ends up happening. Uh, but I guess what we could do. So we have this radio advertising campaign still going. We could potentially spend a considerable amount of money on advertising. So maybe 2,500 for plus 30. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. So I think we'll do that. And then maybe social media influencer will do, we'll do that as well. And then maybe a newspaper. I don't know if, I don't know if 3,500 for 15 is that good. Oh, it's a three month campaign though. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That seems pretty solid. So we're 107 PR. We've got minus minus one. So that's plus one, right? Minus minus is like a plus, I guess. I don't know. I, I uh, math not strong suit. Me bad math. But I would imagine 107 PR is going to be good for us. Uh, we also have four R&D points. So that means we can go into gardening, which is lovely, which will let us get a bus stop, which I imagine is going to be much better for getting uh, people in here. So let's go ahead and uh, start researching gardening. And then what we can do is get some bus stops. And to be completely honest, I might not even bother putting a gym down here and I might just do a whole bunch of uh, R&D closets. Because to be honest, doesn't seem like a bad idea, does it? So I could sort of go there. I could go there and another one there. No, I couldn't do that. Actually, it would have to be the other way around. Sort of. Oh, these would be a pain. Actually, no, they wouldn't. Yeah, no, we can we can totally do that. Um, and we shall, I think. Yeah, we'll take up this space with R&D closets, which I don't know if this is a good idea, but it's what we're going to do with them. Um, we'll do a little toilet just down there at the end, and we'll do another R&D closet right there. And that seems fine. That's, that's probably a good use. It's going to let me research things quicker, and researching things quicker is probably for the best, I would imagine. I would imagine that's what we want to be doing so we can get better things, right? Very weird layout for the uh, middle of the building here, but I would imagine that's going to be good. Also, does the PR just wear off? I, it's, oh, that's interesting. So it's only a temporary boost. Wow. Okay. I didn't quite realize that. Um, so a deluxe office would be lovely. A bus stop, I think, is essential. 
I think having a bus stop is absolutely essential. I also think uh, building a basic floor up here is probably a good idea. It's actually quite cheap as well. It's not even a thousand. And then in terms of the elevator, I guess we're going to want some hallways. So we'll do, I guess, this right here. We'll do this right here. We can sort of circle around the middle again. And we'll throw an elevator, which is 10,000, by the way. So the elevator is what gets you. Not the building, the floors. It's 100% the elevator. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can do more stuff up there. And that's that's totally fine by me. We're at 22 PR right now as well, which is because of the bonus, I would imagine. But that's okay. Let's have a look at R&D. We do have a bus stop. So let's go to rooms. I think rooms will be the way to go because that's going to let us get the deluxe office, the studio apartments, grocery store. So we'll look into rooms. And I'm very tempted to say that this is where we put apartments. I'm very, very tempted. We could do a small dormitory, 2,500, 1,000 per month. Uh, a small, this apartment is cheaper with less rent, which isn't bad. Is that, hmm, dormitory living space for less fortunate or for those who like to live lean, tenants for, is that a thousand per month per tenant or is that a thousand per month per unit? I want to say the studio apartment's probably what we want. We could do two dormitories right in the middle though, but that seems a little miserable, I'm not going to lie. It does seem a little grim, so maybe I don't want to do that. But I do want to do my uh, little sort of bathroom thing here. So that with a power pole there. And I guess a circuit breaker cabinet is probably not a terrible idea either. And I think that's okay. I think that's fine. We can do uh, toilets somewhere else. Because what I'm thinking here is... Let's do the two dormitories. Because I'm curious to see if they actually do generate per tenant or per unit. And then right there, uh, offices maybe? I don't, know if, I don't know if you'd want an office right here, but I think it's like the only thing that's going to fit there. So an office, and I'm thinking studio apartments around the edge. So if I do that, oh, they're not going to fit very well at all. Oh boy. This will be tricky. I can do this, which is great. I can do this. These are also 2,000 a pop. I'm I'm gambling a little bit here with the idea that these are actually going to work. Uh, but I'm willing to... I'm willing to make that gamble, I guess. Uh, there we go. So we've surrounded that floor in apartments. None of them have power, and that's okay. Uh, we're also probably going to need more capacity than we have right now. But we'll figure that out. We'll just run some power around all of this, around to here and into there. We'll run some power across into there and into there. And we do have enough power, which is great news. And we actually have people that look like they live here, which is also great news. So that's all right. Wasn't really expecting it to go that well right off the bat, but uh, no, that works for me. We'll do some windows here, I guess. I'm, I'm thinking we are just going to do just a, another whole bunch of these guys. It'd be nice if I could uh, click and drag with this tool, though. I'm not going to lie. That would be, be kind of lovely if I could just click and drag an entire wall rather than having to click every single tile. Because that's going to get tedious. I'm going to say it right now. That's going to get tedious. And also, this uh, layout goes completely against what I said about building like another tower down here. But this is fine for now. I'm not, uh, I'm not too stressed about it. I actually, I do kind of like this. This is this is kind of cool. Can I do a different floor in there? Current selection, basic floor, ground. No, cannot build any higher, so I can't do that. Pavement, can I pave in here? No. All right, so my basic floor is just, is just that. That's okay. Am I making money? I am. Lovely. My apartments are making a fair chunk of change. I'd imagine I'm probably going to need more uh, staff, but that's all right. We have people, you know, living in there, which is fair enough. 
Not exactly my personal choice of living, but uh, to each their own. And you know what? I think I might, I think I will get rid of this office and I'm going to replace it with uh, some toilets that are going to face this way and also that way. Just so there's some actual toilets on this floor rather than, uh, rather than there not being toilets on that floor. So there we go. We'll give them some power and this seems pretty solid. I mean, we're making money, right? We're making a little bit of money and that, that that's good. We also have a good amount of R&D points as well. So let's, let's go straight to the grocery store. Since we have people living here, I feel like that makes sense. And then maybe that's when we expand the building this way a little bit. We can put a grocery store uh, downstairs and see how that goes. But I like this. This is, this is kind of cool. And I think that's probably, well, you know what? No, that's not where we're going to leave it for today. I'll build the grocery store. I don't want to, I don't want to unlock something or start the process of unlocking something and then wrap up an episode uh, of a series that might potentially not be a series. If, you know, this might be one of those games that for whatever, you know, I play it and then the comments are like, I hate this. Never play it again. And if that's, you know, if, if that's your wishes. So uh, we'll see. Uh, is what we'll do. Uh, now, this thing fits really nicely right there. So let's go and do some basic flooring. Let's do seven, I think. And let's go and do some hallways. So the hallways are going to go to there. They're going to go to... Oh, oh they're not going to play as nicely with this as I thought because we have that storage room. Okay. Okay. That storage room is going to have to go. It is making me money, but it is, it's also going away. So let's go ahead and I'm very tempted to, you know what? Let's, let me just expand this right over to, uh, there, right? Just because it gives me that entire space. In terms of rooms, what we'll do is a hallway in this corner, which is going to be four by four. We'll bring this down to here. And there's a fire. Well, that's why we have a firefighter. That's that's why he's here. He's going to put that out and everyone's going to be safe. Now, let's bring this guy down to here and straight down. And now we have sort of the layout that I was talking about. It's not symmetrical by any means, but it does the job and that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there should be a corridor there. And then I guess the grocery store sort of goes somewhere in that space and that's fine so that that's now sort of symmetrical which is better than it not being which actually means that an elevator needs to go right here okay that works let me get a grocery store in here which i think has to go there or oh yeah oh right there 100 percent right there and what i can do is put the storage room back in that we got rid of in that space and that's beautiful that's absolutely beautiful we can get say uh, oh this thing gives us plus eight pr as well it's also pretty good rent per month and then the gym as well we should probably get that in here since we have people living here and the bowling there's so many things how much 20 you know what sure and the gym as well we're doing it we're getting a nice little space here for people to shop and exercise and have fun. It's a beautiful apartment building. It's a beautiful building. I mean, it's not a beautiful building, but it could be. And that's what matters. So uh, <laughs> let's go and do some landscaping, I guess. Let's uh, let's 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 get this thing, you know, in a spot where it's it's actually usable. Uh, so that comes round. That goes there. That goes there. Actually, that goes right there. And then for the rest of it, we'll just do the grass, which that's not grass. That's grass. That's grass. And that as well. We do have that weird door down here, but honestly, I'm okay with that. I don't mind that too much. And uh, we'll do a nice door and a nice door there as well. Did I mess this up? Oh, I messed that door up. That's what I did. Okay, so that door needs to be uh, right there. Okay, that's pretty solid. Uh, I do think we should probably look into some utility stuff before we get a little bit more carried away here. 
Uh, so what I'm going to do is get a hallway and we'll do a little hallway just here. And off the sides of that, what we'll do is a little circuit breaker and maybe another circuit breaker just to be safe. And then around that is maybe where we can do some toilets. So people over on this side of the place have somewhere to uh, poop as well. You know, because they, they deserve to be able to poop in peace. All right, which is a lovely bit of alliteration as far as I'm concerned. And I will not hear otherwise. So let's bring this down here. Let's bring that through here. And let's bring this all the way back. And let's connect it to uh, those circuit breakers as well. And there we go. So job done right there. This is all powered. This is all functional. We should have people coming down to work in all of these different spaces. We got people going to the bowling alley. We got uh, you coming around to the storage room. That's good. That's 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 good by me. That looks that looks kind of great. Got people chilling. Got people shopping. Money is still hopefully going to be pretty solid. That's good. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many people coming to the gym. That's actually kind of fantastic. Is this working? Business did not have enough customers. Visitors require... Oh, it's 60 per month. Aye. Okay. That's not ideal. We might need to do something about that. But honestly, we'd probably just want to expand the building, I think. Which we could do. Oh, we could do. We could, but I'm not going to because this video is just going to run on for way, way too long. Uh, so what I'm going to say, plain and simple, is that if you want to see more of this, do let me know in the comments below. Because this is kind of fun and I kind of like this. It's kind of chill, but it's, it's a good kind of chill. So yeah, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. We can... Uh, we can pick this up where we leave it off, see where things go, see how things go, and uh, just have a grand old time with uh, this apartment building, because that's apparently what we're doing. That's apparently how things are going to be. I'm also thinking the extra staff lounge, just to clarify what I am doing, uh, extra staff lounge, probably useful, because we're probably going to need more staff. And then we have this space right here for, I guess, uh, oh god, what can I put in there? I want to fill up this before... You know what? Another staff lounge. There we go. That's fine. All right. Bunch of offices around the side. We'll make a bunch of money. We're doing pretty well right now, so no complaints. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.